but not really. So what we're doing, we're going to be get, we're going to be a hot serial killer. That's what we're going to be doing. Okay, not a challenge has no mods, but honestly, I'm gonna be using extreme violence because let's spice it up. You know, let's spice up the murder. Okay, we're gonna spice up the murder. We are going to be after money. We're going to be after money and we're going to kill our partners, okay? So we seduce, we marry, and then we kill. And that's what we're going for. We need to romance someone, pretend to be the best wife on the planet, kill them, but before we kill them, we have to cheat on them and they have to see us cheating on them and then we kill them. And then in my opinion, we live in their house. Um, kids only for kids. It's not a necessity, but I'm, but I'm like, you know, we... we we can have kids if it's on accident. Like, I'm not gonna make them make kids, but like, if she suddenly pops out a kid, I'm just gonna be like, I guess we have a kid now, you know? But I'm like, not going to um, do pregnancy tests or anything like that. It's just gonna be a surprise. I have mods and CC. Don't ask me the name of anything. Don't ask me where I got it. Just vibe, because not even I know where I got it. I redid my whole mod folder. And I'm already on, like, so much. It's already 40 gigabytes. Like, don't ask me the name of anything. I don't know. Yeah, All right. Warm, Here's Valeria. You can't see her name. Her name is Valeria. She's a serial romantic, like you have to be. Her traits are that she's romantic, she is materialistic, and she's a snob, and though she has to be, but I have a mod that allows you to have five traits, so I added in non-committal and self-absorbed. I think those work really well. This is her. Look at her. She she cute. So this is one of her daily outfits. This is another one. This is another one. I tried to make her theme kind of black and red but also innocent but not you know in this one and this is her what do you call it formal wear i think the tattoos really completed the look this is her sports wear i love the shirt i put the hot in psychotic i was like i have to use that shirt i don't don't have a choice this is her sleepwear no explanations needed I think this perfectly fits the Black Widow vibe. I don't have anything with bigger ruffles, but this is the closest I got. Some party clothing. This is her swimwear. Hot weather. Some hot weather outfits. Gotta be seductive with the back. And her cold weather outfit. So that's Valeria. That's her Black Widow. The rules. Other than kill people. They need to be a young adult. They need to have the snob, romantic, materialistic personality trait. Um, she has to have the serial romantic. You have to play with a normal lifespan, which, okay. Not like I ever do short or long anyway. I would, I would just stress myself the fuck out. Turn off aging on all homes. I need to do that. I don't know how to do that though. Cheats or mods aren't allowed. We're ignoring that. Keep your widow sim unemployed all the time. So we're going for a rags to riches to rich with no job. We can only marry single sims. If there's like a married sim that we want to marry, we first have to end the relationship in some way. But I think it's just fun to only go for the single sims instead of, you know, go for the married ones. It gives like a tiny bit of a challenge to see if they're first single or not. Repairs are not allowed. We're not allowed to repair anything if it breaks. We have to replace them. Which is gonna be tough in the beginning, but it's what it, it's what we have to do. We're it's below us in the kind of a sense. You need to find a single sim, seduce and marry him. You can have a full blown wedding party. I think we might have like a full blown wedding just for the fun of it, because they added that in, you know, the wedding pack. I haven't played with it yet. And now your sim has to be nice and sweet, and you need to have a dinner party. And the dinner party has to be a silver rating or higher. So it has to be successful. And once that happens, we move into this husband's house. And we start, you know, cheating. We go on, we go looking for a new, new victim. While we're still with the first husband, for example. And then when we have someone who's kind of like our side piece, we move the side piece into our home with our husband. So we we're, we live together, all three of us. 
and now you flirt you get physical with both and then once the spouse catches you cheating you can kill him why because she got caught she's at the risk of losing all the wealth so she must kill the husband you know now the other rule is that the husband doesn't can't die naturally we have to kill the husband and um then the last thing to do with it is that you keep the tombstones and the urns and you have to inscribe them with their name and then died by black widow now we live here in an apartment we don't have enough money for an actual standalone house we live in this corner partner and our lot we have gremlins that come to break stuff i thought that would be fun we have a grem we have gremlins that come to break stuff now this is our house this is our apartment um as you can see it's a little bit run down there's some spider webs some broken flooring we try to make it look nice we have barely a normal bed uh, we have a tv from the 1970s we don't even have a proper stove we need to find people. We need to meet people. All right, all right. Does it look like there's anyone we would romance? Uh, not her already seeing- I was about to say, do we see anyone that she would, you know, Valeria would like? She immediately said from seeing my eyes, from seeing an unattractive sim. Who is the unattractive sim? Valeria's eyes were bombarded by the sight of a sim that they find particularly abhorrent. It would be best to look away, otherwise Valeria might end up feeling truly ill. I see she's immediately going to chat with the celebrity. She said, you look like you have money. Very smart lady. So let's get talking. Ah! Oh, honey, you <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, honey, you embarrassed yourself. Me, so far, yeah, I'm yeah, you house. embarrassed yourself. Okay. Does Marcus have a house? You know, it's actually a really good question. Does Marcus have a house? Is he homeless? <laughs> Valeria is instantly unattracted to Marcus. Valeria knew he's poor. Valeria is like, you don't look like you have a home. You look homeless. Marcus seems to be doing okay. She she really asked him, how is your money doing? She really, wow. She immediately said, what do you make? What money? How much money do you make? Oh, who's that? You're kind of cute. Who are you? You're a fucking teen. Never mind. <laughs> Let's go there. It's a nightclub, though. Do we go during the day? Sims don't care what time of day it is to party. Hey, Morgan. Oh, what kind of dance are you doing? What dance are you doing, Morgan? Uh, ask if he's single. Let's just get straight to it. You know, we're in a we're in a romance bar, so why not get straight to it? Morgan is single. That's good. Okay. Okay, Morgan. Let's ask him what his job is. Maybe we should ask him if he actually has a job. Uh, Do you have an estate? Where the fuck is he going? Yes. Sir, come back here. Why do they always leave when I'm trying to romance them? Uh, first impression crush? She finds him unattractive, but he's married. She finds him un- If he's married, why is he in the singles bar? What? She finds him unattractive, but she has a crush on him? Why does he leave? Why do all these men leave when we're talking to them? Am I repul- Is Valeria repulsive? He is part of a sports team? Okay. I now just need to know if he's single. He could- he could be our first, you know? <gasps> he's single. We found our first victim. Let's get into Carlos. Yeah, that's right. Become completely obsessed with us, Carlos. Look at us. Oh. We are amazing. Uh, yeah, that's right. Look at that. Oh. Wants to suggest a date? Yes. He's already falling for us. We're doing great. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, he's dancing seductively. Oh. Okay, Carlos. Okay. Oh, okay, girl. Okay. Woo! Why is she popping her booty right now? Sambo. <laughs> we should do a first kiss. I think it's time we do a first kiss already. Why is from a tedious Why is he being mean? Oh, oh. 
on our date? On a first date and he's being mean? What the fuck? <laughs> Why does he have such an attitude? Because he looks like he's a fuckboy. I thought he'd like those. Why is he being mean? Let's try to calm him down. We're on a, we're on a date. <laughs> Muska and tree Sigluna. Why is he? Why is he screaming at us? Not this man. Oh, ma'am. Let's go home. Please don't burn down the house. We already don't have enough money. We can barely pay rent. At least she's cute. <sighs> And she looks happy, you know? That's all that matters. This married man is not staying in- Is he married? Yes, he is. He's not staying in our home. What- What kind of a question? She's- She's thinking about Carlos. She's thinking about the rude-ass bitch who was screaming at us on our first date. She wants to flirt with Carlos. Do we go flirt with Carlos? I mean, we have to kill him anyway, so... We could just go for the money. Maybe we should invite Carlos over. Why is he still mad? Does he have anger issues? Why is he playing with Clay? Are we that boring? Are you meeting him on the dating app? We talked about it, and I was considering, but I feel like that's a little bit easy. I feel like that's a little bit easy when it comes to this challenge. Oh! Sorry. So I'm trying not to. I do go to the <laughs> singles bar. He did not like that. It's okay. Are you all gonna romance? Are you gonna woohoo or not? Oh, okay, okay. I guess we have to take the steps in this relationship because apparently Carlos is not gonna do it. Maybe he just likes our body and he doesn't like our personality because our friendship isn't that high. Are we? Are we doing it? Finally. All right, you guys. Have fun. Be safe. We don't want children. We don't want children. Good job, Carlos. Use the condom. I'm, I'm proud of you. Protection. Safety is everything. Sexual safety. It keeps you safe from the offspring. Together with the two spiders in the bedroom, this just shows that we need to move into his place. Oh, why is he, why is he making those noises? Okay. <laughs> okay. Y'all can go to sleep. That's fine. Or not, I guess. <laughs> she said I had sex, so now I'm going to view a painting. And she said goodbye to him. Okay, bestie. She said, you know, that's enough. That's enough. We gotta, we gotta get him fully... Fully committed, you know? He has to be in love with us. Swap personality trait? Oh, hell no. We're not loyal. Yes, I'd love to live together. I'd love to move out of this house. Wait, does this mean he moves in here? He lives with his whole family. <laughs> he lives with his whole family. Anyway, we got a new house. House upgrade. We can do the last one, her forever husband. We can make him look cool. Forever husband. <gasps> forever husband, no. She marries 10 men, right? She kills all of them, why? Turns out she loves women. Not her forever husband, her forever wife. That's what we're going for. She's gonna make money and she's gonna move in with her hot ass wife and they're going to need to be the hottest lesbian couple on the block. And the riches. All right, let's check this house out. Oh, what are those colors? Oh, that's too many colors for me. Hey, we have a roof terrace. Now, Carlos, how much money do you make as like a person? As a person? <laughs> as a man in, in, in sports. <laughs> $66 an hour. Money. Um, why don't we go to sleep here? I don't- I don't think we want to sleep in the same bed. I don't think we want to sleep in the same bed, you know? C Carlos can sleep in this bed. I say we can only get to a wedding 
if Carlos asks us to marry. Because the whole point is that he is completely in love with us. So I want to give it a challenge that he has to ask us to marry. So we have to really be his ideal wife, you know? She looks so happy. She's like, we finally moved into a new home. With a man who made us breakfast. You know what I say we do is we bring our friendship up with Carlos today. And when he's out on a job, we go and have a little snoopy snoop around the neighborhood about men, you know? He's a mean sim. That wa That's why he was bored. She's bored. She said, so I moved in with this man and I'm bored. She's like, this is not up to my standards at all. She she wants to chat with Mortimer. She said, Mortimer's rich. I'm gonna chat with him. You know, this is embarrassing. We're trying to cheat and we can't even cheat successfully. Why? Why am I reading that someone used a condom? Who is she with? Who is in there? What does Judith want? Wealthy, very wealthy. Just last month I bought Social Bunny in Cupid's Corner. Just straight up bought them. You caught my eye and I was hoping to get the chance to meet you in person. I know it's a lot to ask, but I have gifts for you. What do you say? It, is Judith Ward offering to be our sugar mommy right now? Is Judith worth telling us I'm going to give you money? Beso rapido motel. You know what? We're going to go for it. We're going to go to we're, we're going to go see. We're going to go see if she's legit. We're going to go see if this lady is legit. This child, he's like I know what you're up to. Why is there a bear? Uh, anyway. <gasps> Meet wealthy weirdo! Is Judith Worth Valeria's gay awakening? It was weird. Who would have thought someone that age would still be into void critters? You mean to tell me she hit me up off of Cupid's Corner, a dating website, to play void critters? And she paid us in elements. Why was it so shady if we weren't gonna go do the dirty with Judith Ward? You know what? We should cook together. You should be like, hey, Valera, let's go cook together. It's cute. We're, we're like a cute little couple. We should cook together. Wake up, dude. Ask your wife. Uncomfortable. Intense. It shit. You what? Carlos contracted crab lice. The intense itching caused by the little bugs living around his genitalia is not going to clear out without proper treatment. Where did this man get crab lice from? I know it wasn't from, I know it's not from Valeria. I know it's not from Valeria. I can't see if he cheated. That's the thing. He has no other friends, just his mother and his sister. So unless you're implying something Alabama-ish is happening. I'm gonna ask him about his health. They have arguments? Did she just ask him without me asking what it's about? I'm not gonna apologize. I have nothing to apologize for. I wanted to go on like a like a date with him, but he kind of has some crab lies. They're arguing again! I would think Ask to work on romance, Dimac. Don't marry him, just murder him and run. <laughs> but he gave us this nice house. <laughs> Carlos wasn't open to working on the romance dynamic. She will have to try again after some time has passed and both sims are ready to talk. Both in a good mood and in a positive conversation. We have to be the perfect wife and girlfriend, so let's ask for Cupid counselings. Why are we going to murder? Are you not? Well? not he doesn't like us. Not her standing there like, oh. Oh, uh, why are you coughing? 
Volcano. From gross air? She said this man is disgusting. <laughs> she said you are disgusting. I'm gonna insult him. Malspec, mobsy. Yeah, yeah. This is your own. This he's getting a taste of his own medicine now. Oh. Did that fail? She failed at killing him. You borrow. Oh. This is what you. This is what you get for screaming at me, calling me names. Where are you going? He's still alive? We should apologize and go to bed with him. Become toxic. So sorry I tried to murder you. I promise you I love you. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. I honestly don't know what came over me. I... I just have a fear of commitment, yeah, maybe. Yeah. I don't know what came over me. Not him, see, not him saying like, yeah, totally valid. Totally valid, like, it happens. <laughs> Did you see him not like, mm, yeah, yeah, I get it, it's okay. Like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do oh, it. Yeah, no, sure. I'm sorry, don't no, be so I'm paranoid. I'm hey, sorry, hey. I'm sorry. <sighs> It was an accident. I slipped. Kiss and make up. Oh, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm on my period. I told them to kiss and make up, not kiss and fight. <laughs> <laughs> Just not as losing. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> so much is happening right now. <laughs> oh my. I lost. I didn't. I said kiss and make up. He took the kiss and he said, bitch, you thought. <laughs> this is the most toxic relationship I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> There's, they seem to have hit a rough patch. Hold on, Carlos. Listen, you piece of shit. Corbin. You do not get to treat me that way. You're ugly underwear, but Gora, Gora. But I'm gonna criticize his ruhu. I'm gonna ask him what his problem is. Is this where we go for counseling again? Take Wait. this L. Who did he call? Who, who did he call? Who did he call? Who's coming? First was trying the counseling thing again. Oh my god, he agreed to counseling. He agreed to go to counseling. He called the news. He beat us up. He beat us up. Called the news and now we're in couples counseling. I'm still gonna kill him though. Carlos is off to work. We're still days from being beaten up. We have a festering grudge. We're in therapy. We're just acquaintances. I'm gonna kill this man. Why is she feeling flirty after she got completely beaten up? Seven wild days romance based reality show. If you choose to participate, you'll be tasked with having seven consecutive perfect dates. Did he sign up for a Love Island TV show? Since using our hands didn't work. Not us whistling in the shower. <laughs> like, nothing happened. Technically, we should only be killing 10 people. It just so happened that he was a piece of shit. 
and he deserved this. Well, what you think? What you look at that? We are suddenly single again. Hey, welcome. Oh, Nothing shady oh. happened here. Oh, How are you? Job, welcome I in. I have recently become Joe single job. again. Um, ah. My man <laughs> ran out on me. <laughs> Apparently, he had lice in his pubic region. How are you? I hope you don't have lice in your pubic region. Yeah, my boyfriend cheated on me on the road. Like, I don't know why. Like, I have a catch. Like, look at me. I think I'm a, I'm a catch, man. Let's go on a date. What do you say? Let's get to know each other a little bit better. What are you doing? Yeah, you. <laughs> the way she's looking at me like, <gasps> she caught me. Let's hold some hands. Oh, he's feeling himself. That's totally fine. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> are you still single? So how are you feeling about me? Like, um, should we sexy pose? Let's do a little cheeky first kiss. Oh, tell Roy. We need to have a good friendship with this man, though. Because last time that did not end up well. Woohoo in venue closet. Let's get some woohoo on, you know? We're just jumping straight in this. Is that our husband? That is our not even husband. That's our ex boyfriend. The ghost of our ex boyfriend is here. Oh, oh, okay. I think this one won't go well. He should be nice. I don't think he's a mean sim. Exhilarating rendezvous. Why'd she go back in? Talk hey, so I think you're great and everything. So, like, what, what do you say we start dating? I think you're great, honestly. I am vibing with you. I'm loving the blonde hair. I'm loving the red. Red is my favorite color. <laughs> recap woohoo. We're gonna recap our woohoo. Let's offer a rose. We just gotta be like, remember what we did in that closet on our first date? I do. I can't forget about it. Oh! oh. <laughs> Not in mad. We're gonna declare our love publicly just because Carlos is there. I'm gonna be spiteful. I'm gonna tender neck kiss. Carlos, you can witness this. You know what? You can also witness us boohooing. This is what real love looks like. This is, yeah, exactly. This is what real love looks like, man. Yeah, you like that? Do you like that, Carlos? Do you like that? Shouldn't have beaten us up. Shouldn't have beaten us up. <laughs> you be angry. <laughs> Not him dancing. <laughs> Not him dancing to the sounds of us wooing. <laughs> you released that? I'm gonna dance the pain away. Yeah, walk away. Walk away. All right, more again. When are you going to ask me to move in with you? Bestie, why are you asleep on your date? You're on a date. 
The game's so sorry I put her to sleep. It's either that good or that bad. We should have a deep conversation with our new- Oh, never mind. We would rather- We would rather play games with our ex-boyfriend. We would rather play games with our ex-boyfriend. Oh, Bled. Oh, Gloobie Flurney. And they're still fighting. Let's go home. I would say our first date with our new boyfriend went very well. Wait, we never got a notification he used protection. Oh no! Pray to the goddamn Sims gods that we're not pregnant. I swear to god, I can't handle a kid. I will murder a kid. I will murder that damn toddler. Not even toddler. I will murder that infant. That is not happening. That is not happening in this world. And the fact that I gave myself the rule that I'm not allowed to check if she's pregnant. How could Carlos not like this? Like, look at her. I need to ask him what his job is. Imagine we're in a relationship with a broke ass bitch. I mean, technically anything is better than what we had. After I've been enticing in my um, beautiful clothing. Oh, never mind. Arva. What is your job? Like, what do you do, my love? Oh, how do you make money? How are you gonna provide for me? Bon and gravy. I have quite expensive tastes. He's unemployed. Can I convince him to get a job? Ask Morgan to pursue their dream job. I'll let you know what I decide soon. Okay, he's gonna get a job. I don't want to be the one to have to constantly be like, I'm gonna move in, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. I wanted to come from their side. Because I'm supposed to be the perfect girlfriend. Sophie. If they don't think I'm the perfect girlfriend, how, how, how am I supposed to live? Okay, we're good friends. Wait, what is smelling? Why are you, what are you saying is smelly? Did he just call me smelly? Oh no, something is smelling. It's probably the smell of the fucking ass, bitch ass ex-boyfriend we had. I should really get going. No, boy, you haven't asked me yet. You haven't asked me to move in with you yet. Also, you're stuck in the wall. Never mind. Morgan Smash. Look at what Carlos texted us. Please just go back into your house and remove the door. No one wants to see you in public. You know, she's not afraid to be out at night. Because, you know, she's like, I killed a man. I'm afraid of nothing. We're going to invite Morgan over. And we're gonna ask him to move in. Come over, babe. We gotta, um, like... Psych ourselves up. We're gonna ask our boyfriend to move in. You know, check ourselves out. He's also, you know, he's also hyping himself up. He's like, I'm here. I'm here to see my hot girly. Let's embrace. So just back to back, woohoo. Mm -hmm. We're freaky like that. We'll just be like, bestie, I, bestie, hubby, I love you. And I think we've talked about marriage, right? He has no money. He's homeless. Morgan. Oh. <gasps> We're moving. We're moving. I kind of want to live by uh, in San Secu 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 Secuwa. I want a nicer house. I want to live there. Get out. Get out. We're going to go for unfurnished and we're going to decorate it ourselves. Should we or? Yeah, because we just moved into a new home. But I'll do that off stream. Who knew this homeless man had 50k? Oh, I like this house. It's nice. Okay, I like this. 
I'm going to decorate this off stream and it'll be ready for next week. One step closer. Yes. We finally have our first official victim, you guys. It's our first official victim. What's his name doesn't count. What's his name doesn't count. Okay. He doesn't exist. Literally. He's dead. He does treat her good, but you know, it's all for the, uh, it's all for, it's all for the good, the good. It, it, it yes.